Hey everybody, Patton here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play PSP games on your mini system. Kind of hit or miss whether the game will play very well or not. So I got a couple that kind of showcase that. Even though these are disc-based games, no bias files are needed. But first, a quick recap on how to mod your mini. In HackGCE, you want to go to the Kernel tab, then Install Repair. Click Yes. Plug your mini into your PC, then while holding Reset, Power On, and HackG will do the rest. Once you have the green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. First thing we want to do is go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, select your version of RetroArch, then click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab, scroll down till you get to the Sony systems. And you have a few options to choose from Amped, Legacy, or Extreme. KMFD Manic has made some tweaks to these cores to suit what you're looking for. Be advised if you are on the Genesis Mini, do not choose Legacy, it will not work. I'm going to go with PPSSPP Extreme. So once again, download module, close out the mod hub, go back to the modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to PPSSPP Extreme and RetroArch, then click OK at the bottom. Once they finish installing, you'll get this done message. To add your games, highlight them, drag them directly into HackGee. To get your box art and description for these games, highlight them, right click, and go to Scrape Selected Games. Pick your game over on the left side, and then pick your box art on the right. Click OK once you're done, and the box art has been added. Your command line is filled in automatically, but if you want to do this manually, highlight your games, right click, and go to Select Emulation Core. In the next window, highlight your games again. Make sure that Sony PlayStation Portable is selected, and your choice of core is selected at the bottom. Click apply, then close. You'll see at the bottom, we do not have enough space to put these games on our mini system. You will need external storage. Insert your USB flash drive into your PC, then click export to USB. Make sure you have the correct drive selected here, then click OK. Once they finish transferring, you'll get this done message. Remove your flash drive from your PC, insert it into your OTG adapter, insert your power cord into the OTG adapter, then insert the adapter into the mini and power on. If you're having issues getting any of this to work, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. So I'm going to start off with a game that the mini struggles with trying to play. Let's do God of War Ghost of Sparta. Even just booting up, you can see that the Mini is having a, a pretty hard time running this. And we got some more stuttering at the intro menu screen. Once we get into the game, things get a little rough. And we can't move Kratos because we don't have an analog stick. So we can fix that problem by going into the RetroArch menu. Hold select and push start. You want to go down to the controls option. Go to port 1 controls. And we're going to be changing these D-pad settings, D-pad up, down, left, and right, to the analog selection. So D-pad up is going to be analog Y minus, down will be Y plus, left X minus, and right X plus. If we go back to the game, we should be able to move around. There we go. Now Kratos can run just slowly. Now for a game that runs really well on the minis. Mega Man powered up. And here we go. You can see the game is running much smoother than God of War. So it really depends on which game you're trying to play. There's no hiccups in this one at all. And the game looks really good. And that's all there is to it. Remember, if you need any help getting this to work, you can go to the Rock the Classics Discord server or subreddit. And that's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.